In today's video, we're going to be exploring the exciting world of AI images, better known as generative art. We'll be looking at how we can use two powerful tools, namely ChatGPT and MidJourney version 5 to create AI images. The idea is to use a simple formula that allows you to create endless images in any niche by just changing a few words in the prompt. If you're new to generative art, it's simply a form of art that uses algorithms and codes to create unique images. So it's a as simple as inputting a few text and you get an image from the text that you just put in so for this video like i mentioned we'll be using chat gpt to create the prompts and we'll be using mid journey to create the images so if you don't know about chat gpt chat gpt is a computer program that writes in human-like language so you simply ask chat gpt to write anything and it will give you an answer but the answer you get depends on the question you ask you ask a simple question you get a simple answer it's just as simple as that We'll start by training ChatGPT so that it'll be able to give us the prompts that we need the way that we need them. So I'll start this in a simple way. So I've already prepared the prompts. I just need to copy and paste them and we'll go from there. All right. So I'll copy my first prompt copy just gonna paste in the first prompt so the first prompt is follow my instructions to create the content i'm requesting follow the process step by step and do not miss a step do not add anything that you have not been instructed to add not unless instructed otherwise do you understand yes or no and chat gpt has said yes i understand your instructions and i will follow them step by step without adding anything unless instructed otherwise and that's exactly what i wanted to hear so for the second step i'm gonna copy it so for this demonstration i've chosen to use pet photography and remember this formula can be used in anything but just changing a few words so just because I've used pet photography does not mean that you cannot use this for interior photography you cannot use for portrait for photography or even landscape photography I mean the possibilities are endless here so I'm gonna type in the first prompt and I'm gonna press enter and the first prompt is write an elaborate list of key elements used in pet photography so I just need chat GPT to write the key elements that are used in pet photography and then once we have this we'll be able to go to the next step so as you can see chat gpt has started writing the key elements that we need which is the camera equipment it's writing about the lighting which is good that's what we want to see it's writing about the background so as you can see from the camera equipment it's mentioning the camera that would be good for pet photography for the lighting is mentioning stuff like natural light it's also mentioning that you need patience while taking pet photography because obviously it's a pet you can't control it understandably and this is exactly what we want from it it's also mentioning animal behavior so obviously if you're taking a picture of a dog it's good to be knowledgeable about how dogs work so that you can be able to deal with them accordingly so there you go chat gpt has finished my request so as i said before we requested chat gpt to write an elaborate list of key elements used in pet photography chat gpt has given us exactly what we wanted so we need to feed chat gpt with our next prompt which i've already prepared that i'm gonna get i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna paste it so copy and paste I'm going to go back to chat GPT and I'm going to paste it. So the next request is using these elements, write and populate five rows of example data where pet photography is a particular type of pet. Use the table style. As you can see at this stage, we've asked chat GPT to replace the word pet photography with a type of pet. And let's say you was doing food photography, you'd ask chat GPT to replace the word food photography with a particular type of food. And let's say you wanted to request a specific food or you wanted to request a specific animal or you wanted to request a specific landscape you can also do this but for that i'll demonstrate as we proceed with the video i just wanted to make that clear all right we're gonna continue we're gonna paste it and continue i'm gonna let chat gpt do its thing and it's gonna be generating a table all right so there you go chat gpt is generating the table and is populating the table with all the information that it created from the elements that we requested so as you can see it's got dog portraits cat portraits exotic birds photos we've got fish photography small animals photos all right as you can see chat gpt is created the table that we requested it to create so chat gpt says in this table each row represents a different type of pet photography with corresponding camera equipment background 
props, animal behavior tips, and post-processing techniques tailored to a specific type. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So now I'm ready to go to the next step, which is the last step of this process in ChatGPT. So I'm just gonna copy my prompt and I'm gonna come back on ChatGPT and I'm gonna paste it. And the prompt is write each row separately in a sentence style. So I'm gonna press select. So, all right, so there you go. ChatGPT4 has written the sentences that we requested from it. So basically what it's done, so it's taken the table that we asked it to create and it's converted it into sentences. So it's just converted the rows into sentences. So now that we have the sentences, these are the prompts that we're gonna use to create the images. So as you can see from the first one, it's a dog portrait. Use 50 ml prime lens with grassy fields as the background and include the dog's favorite toys and prompts. Capture the dog during playtime and showcase its personality and enhance the fat texture in post-processing. So basically, using this simple formula, we've, cre we've trained ChatGPT to write some prompts that we could use to create images. So just to show you how ChatGPT is so good at this, and you can use it to create endless images for anything that you require them for. So if you want ChatGPT to write you more prompts like this, all you have to say is write more, and it will create for you as many as you want so from here we're gonna start creating the images and we're gonna head over to mid journey i'll just copy that prompt so if you don't know about mid journey mid journey is an ai program that you can use to generate ai images you simply feed it with text and it gives you an image so we're gonna use the text that we just got from chat gpt and i'm gonna press slash imagine and then i'm gonna paste the prompt there this prompt is for a dog portrait so there you go so we've got our just to save you time i'm gonna copy the prompts from chat gpt to me journey and create the images for you just in case you're new to me journey i'm gonna be making a beginner's guide on how to use me journey on my next video so depending on when you watch this you're gonna find the link on the description section of this video down below me journey has generated the images i was waiting for from the chat gpt prompts as you can see the dog images are looking very good the dogs are looking happy as you can see the fire detail is there the toy that was mentioned in the prompt is there the portraits of the cats are looking very nice and very realistic which is what we wanted the exotic birds are looking very 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 nice and exotic beautiful image the color on them is just amazing for the fish and the hamster just the same very very nice pictures so what i done i went back on chat gpt and i prompted chat gpt to create for me some more images but this time i wanted it to create different types of images so one of the prompts i gave it was using this same concept write sentences where the wildlife photography is a particular animal and he done that for me and he gave me a prompt for that and then another one that i prompted was using the same concept write sentences where the interior photography is a different room and as you can see i got these images from it and i did not have to start this formula from the beginning so the most important thing is training chat gpt to do exactly what you want you can use this um, formula to generate endless images of anything that you want i'm hoping you can see the power of chat gpt and how you can use it to create images that you want so as you can see from here the possibility is endless and if you want to use the same prompts i use to train chat gpt i'm gonna leave a link on the description below where you can find it on a community section of youtube channel and hopefully you can make some images and leave a comment and let me know how the process was for you all right so that's that for me i really hope this video has been helpful to you above all i hope that you've learned something from it my name is abigail and you've been watching simplifying ai